Welcome to my video on Siberian cat colors. Look out for three others on eye color, traditional and cats with white. In this video we will be looking at color points. Color points on even masquerade are Siberians but in pointed color. You would normally associate this color with Siamese as the gene comes from Asia but it's very popular across all breeds. The coloring or pointed areas is limited to the face, feet, ears and tail. The body is pale, but not quite white. It normally has an ivory tinge and varies from lighter to darker shades. The pointed areas can either have a solid or tabby expression, and the cats can also have white on them, just like any other cat. Color point Siberians come in seal and blue, red and cream, tortoiseshells and tabbies. I will be using the terms lynx point and tabby point interchangeably they mean the same, it's just a different terminology used by different cats associations. Color point cats always come with blue eyes. This is a seal lynx point or seal tabby point. Here the pointed areas are covered with a darker color and it also has tabby barrings on it. This is the usual stripes on the paws and tail and characteristic M shape on the forehead. This is a beautiful young female, and she's just over six months old on this photo. She was actually attending her very first cat show, the London Cats, in the UK, and she was best in show kitten there. A very good example of Seal Lynx Point or Seal Tabby Point. Her name is Pandora. She lives with Sarah in Oxfordshire, and you can see more photos of her on Instagram. She's called the Pandora Seal Lynx. Here we have two similar age males. They're both the same color, although they look different. They're both seal lynx point with white. They both have white feet, but the intensity and the contrast of the seal against the white is completely different. It's actually the same color, just a variation of shade. This is Izum. He's original winner and Supreme Grand Champion. A picture of him and I at the Naturally Ticker Cat Show in Doncaster, UK. Here are two seal lynx point and white females, an adult and a youngster. They're not related. The distribution of white is different. It is very individual. You will not often find identical distribution of white on a cat. These two are blue lynx point or blue tabby point, a young male and female kitten. Blue is a dilute of seal. It is a lighter color and looks more delicate. The young male on the left is called Prince Royal. I bred him in the UK, but he now lives in Russia as a stud in one of the top catteries. This kitten is blue lynx with white or blue tabby point with white. Here we have little siblings. I chose this picture to show the difference between the solid and the lynx, or tabby. They are all blues. The two on the left are blue point, and the one on the right is blue lynx point. Lynx, or as they're also called tabby points, have white rims around the eyes, like a white eyeliner, and a little white butterfly next to the nose. And also there is a white rim right on the inner edge of the ears. These are the features of any tabby in both traditional and pointed colors, and they would always stay there. On solid blues, the color covers the facial mask area evenly. That's why they're called solid. Here we have a red color. This is a red point male. He's a solid red, but we can see tabby markings on his face. It is very common in reds and creams. In fact, it is almost impossible to find a solid red or cream without tabby barrings. In traditional colors, you will also see pattern on the body. When reds have strong intensity of color, they will be lacking white eyeliner around the eyes. This will tell us that they are solid. Red points take a long time to mature, unlike seals and blues. Creams take even longer, simply because they are paler. The color develops and intensifies slowly, so when we are not sure on whether they are solid or lynx points, it's best to do a genetic test. This male has been tested, and he is in fact solid red point. This is a daughter of the previous red point male. She's a still lynx torty, meaning torty tabby point. We can see those ginger specks on her face, as well as tabby barrings, and also white eyeliner. Torties are always females. Very occasionally there could be a male, but it's very, very rare. Here is the same kitten with her sisters. She has the darkest face. She's a seal lynx torty point, and the other three sisters are blue lynx torties. Here she is again. The close up of her face really shows the distribution of color. It is a mixture of red and seal. She combines a mixture of both colors and tabby barrings. Here's another Toby. She's a seal lynx torty and white. She also has white feet. Since she has more red on her face, it's going to take longer for her mask to become fully colored and have that striking ginger color. And of course, we can never predict how dark or rich the color will end up. Just like in the earlier example of two ceilings males who were the same age, but completely different shades of the same color. 
This Kitness is still silver lynx point. It is quite a rare color combination and silver makes it look so much lighter. The colored or pointed part of the fur would normally have seal or black color evenly distributed along the hair shaft down to the skin. In this case, just like in the traditional silver tabbits, it is actually pale or white by the roots and the darker coloring is isolated to the tips of the hairs. That gives it a lot lighter effect. Silvers can come in any color. It could be seal silver, blue silver, red silver, cream silver and tortoise and they will always look rather light in appearance. These two images show the difference of body color. It is very hard to predict whether the color pointed cats will stay light or whether they'll get darker on the body. Pointed cats generally react to the temperature changes and bruising. The color change could be caused by clipping or brushing if you apply too much pressure on your comb, brush or even pull fur. You may not be hurting the cat in any way, but that will be enough for the coat to grow darker. If the cat has a genetically light shade of coat, it will grow back light again. Normally it will take a full year for the cat to gain its original color back. So if you have a pale body pointed cat and wish for it to stay that way, be gentle with its coat and avoid clipping. Here I am showing the changes of color as the coat grows on the kitten. After it was born, it reacted to the temperature change and its coat grew darker, but then it became lighter again as the kitten got used to the external temperature and the color stayed consistently white. Here we can see the difference of the pattern on the body. Although the cats are pointed and darker color is limited to the pointed areas, quite a few of the cats still display the shadiness on the body and even some pattern. The cat on the left even shows spots on him, while the one on the right is more or less evenly colored. This can change with time, normally after a molt, but generally the darker pigmented cats have a darker shade of the body. These are examples of seal point kittens. They are not related, but they are identical color. Seal point is the darkest of all points. It starts developing a lot quicker than any other color of pointed cats on even masquerades. Here are two more seal point kittens. These two are also not related, although they look almost identical. These kittens are actually siblings. They're all from one litter. We have a solid black, brown tabby and a seal point. The tabby lives in London. You can find him on Instagram. He's called Percy the Siberian Cat. This is a blue point. It is also called a dilute, a dilute of seal, a lighter version. Here we have two blue point kittens. The color is developing and it is going to carry on spreading and covering their faces and paws.